Hey guys, I'm Mark. I'm a system engineer based in Montreal. And in this video, I'll show you how to use the Pi Integrator for business analytics with Amazon S3, Amazon Kinesis, and Amazon Redshift. The first target will be an S3 bucket. In this case, we'll create a new bucket name called OSIsoft Turbine Efficiency. It will be in the US West region, North California. We'll stick to that region for all of the uh, examples. And we'll keep all of the other settings by default. You could always use your own uh, pre-existing bucket if you want. So there you go. You have your Osisoft turbine efficiency bucket. So the first step is always to check out the documentation. I recommend going over libra live library first. And from there, uh, let's go to the administration tab. Click on targets. Select add publish target. So the target name in this case will be called Amazon S3. It will be an Amazon S3 target type. So I'll start by entering the ADBS access key and ADBS secret access key, which can be found in the ADBS console in the IM section. So I have a few other options here, such as changing the data format. So I'll switch that to text. And I'll also provide the bucket name, which is OSISOF Turbine Efficiency. Once I am happy with all my modifications, I can now click on Verify Amazon S3 Rights. And when I see the successfully established connection, I can click on Save Change, and I can move back to my, my Views page. From there, I'll clone the Turbine Efficiency view, and I'll just append S3 Bucket, and I'll keep all of the other settings the way they were. But I'll change the target configuration for my newly created Amazon S3 target. So next, I'm going to hit Publish. If I navigate back to the Amazon console and I log into the S3 site, I pick my turbine efficiency. Because it's in plain text, it will let me open it. And there you go, your data is in Amazon S3. The next target we'll explore is Amazon Redshift. I'll start by creating a new cluster in the AWS console. So I'll log into the Redshift portal. I'll click on Quick Launch Cluster. And I'll name my cluster OSISOF-Turbine Efficiency. I will also rename my database name to Turbine Efficiency. And finally, I will add a master user password. I'm going to use the master username to connect, but this is not really best practice. This is only meant for demo purpose. I'll leave all of the other options by default and I'll click on launch cluster. And this might take a few minutes, so we'll just wait. Now that the cluster is running, uh, I'll take some notes such as the endpoint, the database name, and the master username. Then I'll look up the product documentation on the live library. And the first step for this endpoint is actually to install and configure the Amazon Redshift driver, which can be found on their website. So in this case, I'm going to use the 64-bit version and go through the installation of the actual driver. Now that the driver is installed, I actually need to go to the 64-bit ODBC data source and set up a system DSN for the Amazon Redshift driver. In here, I'll provide the server, port, and database information 
I copied from the previous steps. And finally, I'll provide the user and password. Once all of the, of the information is filled, I'm going to click on test. And you should see a success. From there, we can go back to the integrator portal, go back to administration, in targets, add another published target, which will be called Amazon Redshift. And the type will also be Amazon Redshift. And in here, I'll provide the same information as I did in the driver. The cluster name will be the URL. And then I'll provide the database name and the username and password. I'm going to click on verify. And there should be a success message at the end. From there, I'll hit save and go back to my views. From there, I'll copy again the turbine efficiency view and I'll append Amazon Redshift at the end. And I'll keep all of the other settings by default, but I'll change the target configuration to be Amazon Redshift. So once the view is published, I can actually test it, test out the data in any Power BI software such as Power BI Desktop. The last option with the Pan Integrator for Business Analytics and AWS is to choose to publish to Amazon Kinesis. I'll start by creating a new Kinesis stream, which I'll name Pan Integrator for BA turbine efficiency. We'll keep the number of shards to 20 because there's not that much data for this example. And we'll create the stream. So once the stream is created, I'm going to go back to the integrator page, go to the administration, to target again, and I'm going to publish a target called Amazon Kinesis and the target type will be the same name. Finally, I'll change the format to JSON and I'll click on Verify Amazon Kinesis Writer. And once it's success successfully connected, I'll click on Save Change and go back to the My Views page. Because Amazon Kinesis is a streaming service, I'll need to create a new streaming view. So I'll call it Turbine Efficiency dash Kinesis. And I'll use the import a shape from another view option to get the same data as on the other views. So in this option, I can actually choose to format the JSON message, but I will not. And I will change a target to my Kinesis target and click on publish. From there, I can validate the connectivity by going back to the Kinesis web page and looking at the monitoring tab. So there should be a spike when I actually publish the data. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see, it wasn't too hard publishing to any of those Amazon endpoints. I'll give it a try on your system. Thank you.